Hey guys, so it is my final day featuring the Sending Love Suite from our Occasions catalog. Today we're going to be making a gift bag or a little gift sack. Now, um, just a reminder, this Occasions catalog is good till May 31st. Let me know if you would like a catalog. In a previous video, I had stated that if you place an order, you will get a catalog with a celebration catalog and an annual catalog. Well, as of today, I sent my last annual catalog out. This one's my copy. So um, you can find that on my website, which will be linked below. But if you would like either of these catalogs, let me know and I will send you one. Um, the celebration is good till March 31st. The occasions is good till May 31st. And every $50 purchase, you get something for free of your choice in the celebration catalog. So this video hopefully won't be too long, but I'm going to show you everything. When I remove this catalog, it will be a huge disaster. When I, um, I'm gonna show you everything I'm using and then we'll get started. Okay, there are a lot of supplies you will need. So first, you need the stamp set. Um, you will need the thin, the framelits as well, okay? Then you will need the DSP that comes in the suite. Then also in the suite comes some glassine sheets. It comes like this. Okay, there's a set of that pack of them and it comes in the cardboard. And then one sheet will look like this. So you will need one sheet of these. Some Terran tape. Your real red ink. Memento or your basic black, it, black ink your Tombow Mono Glue, some glue dots, and there are a couple new things today. First, this is the Layering Circles Framelit Dies. I am so excited to get these. Um, I guess these were out of stock for a while, so they're, now they're back in stock and I did purchase them. We are using two different sizes, and you get, with this, you get eight different sizes of the scallop and the circle, and I just love how you can pair them together like this. So, two different sizes. Um, the circle is the smaller one, obviously. So you'll need that. Then the other thing is this awesome mini treat bag thinlets die. And this is how it comes. Let me free up some space here. So, these are the things you get with the framelit die. Actually, I think it goes like this. So it comes with all of this. I just love it, and you can create treat bags. So we're gonna use these two today. You will also need some glimmer paper. I'm showing you the whole sheet because look at that sparkle. I don't think, when they say glimmer, <laughs> they really mean glimmer. I don't think I've seen paper this sparkly before. So you'll need a tiny bit of that. Now, to kind of save time, here are all my pieces. Um, I have some ribbon from my stash, which we will use later. Um, on my circle and scallop die, I've already cut out a piece of basic black and whisper white. So those are already cut out. Now, if you watched my previous videos, you would have seen me assemble an envelope. So I used the envelope die with the liner to create this. Okay, um, I went ahead and cut real red out of this piece. That will be my lining. My bow and arrow from a previous project that was on another video. This heart is using the glimmer, silver glimmer paper. It's this right here, but I ran it through once and it didn't cut all the way through. So I just left it. It kind of has the pattern but it's not um, open, so I was okay with that. It's whatever your choice, you know, your preferences. I have this piece of twine from my stash, which we will use, and this I haven't covered. This is this die, and it is a little envelope with the inside piece, which is right here, and then the little liner, which is right there. So I'm gonna assemble that with you today. And then this is just a little heart I stamped out in real red and die cut with this piece, okay? So those are my small pieces. Now, to the good stuff, this is the little bag I created. 
and we're going to create the same one together. Now, just to kind of um, give you alternate options, I attempted to create a bag with the um, glassine sheet, and it worked out really well. But I don't have any cello bags to put my treats in, so I just used the glassine sheet. I went ahead and created the bag, as oops, assembled it so it has a little um, scalloped edges or whatever, and tied it with a ribbon, and I just am using that as my bag. Now, if you have cello bags, this would work out great. Um, I like the look of the glassine sheet as a bag, but I just didn't have enough supplies to keep it as a bag and decorate it. Unless you want to um, just put some goodies in there and then fold it over, you know, whatever, because that's what they do in the catalog right here. And that looks really cute. I like that a lot. And they just fold it over the top. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do something different. So we're gonna put this aside and go ahead and start assembling our pieces. Now, I'm going to bring my big shot in. Now, Stampin' Up! does have a big shot, and I will link it below. This one I've already had, so no point in me buying another one. So first, I wanna take my two sheets. You will need two six by six pieces of paper, pattern paper, that you want your bag to come in. So I love this postage stamp print. So what I'm gonna do is that this piece fits perfectly over the six by six, but you have to place it really carefully so it is not overhanging or anything like that where you're going to miss cut. So I'll go ahead and line this up. It also, Barely, it fits just perfectly in your big shot. If it overhangs, it's going to bend your die. So you definitely want to be careful. Dies are not cheap. The last thing I want to do is bend it in my big shot. So go ahead and line it up. Okay. If you have a magnetic platform, this is probably be a lot better. I don't have one yet, so the cracking is normal. Sorry if the camera is shaking. All right, so then you have this piece. And then you have no paper left over, which I kind of love. Next, we're going to take this piece. And we're going to take the smaller piece of the bag. So, this one is a little bit smaller than the other one as far as you know, height. So it doesn't, you don't have to be so particular at it. Um, you don't have to be so careful that it's not hanging over. So, oops. Hopefully we can get it then. Sometimes when I stick my plate in and then push it down, it helps the die not to shift. If I just slid it. Okay, so there is that piece. Now what I'm going to do with this piece of paper is this piece of paper is going to be what goes right here. Now you don't see a lot, so I'm going to cut it at two inches and then let's see. kind of eyeball it and we'll use this piece. Okay, now before I assemble my bag, I wanna go ahead and put this envelope together. That way it has time to dry and I'm not waiting. So, this envelope is already put together. This will go with that. This one, really easy, you just fold the sides. And then you adhere it with a glue dot or your Tombow Mono glue, whatever adhesive of your choice. And 
And then while I hold that, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my liner. Line that up. There we go. And I'm going to set that under an acrylic block so it dries. For this one, I'm using Solid Hearts. Hopefully it will come out okay. Perfect. Now my bag, this one says a teeny tiny note, which I think is so stinking cute. So I want to go ahead and stamp. This is, what does it say? Scent with Love. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that underneath my hearts. Okay. And since my envelope is red, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it up in real red ink. So... It matches and plus this little square is white now since we have all the ink out I'm gonna go ahead and take my white circle and ink up I'm using the same sentiment as my other my example inking up in real red I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out happy Valentine's Day and then I will go ahead and adhere this just using my Tombow mono glue. Go ahead and stick that in there. And then I'm going to take this little heart just so it's not so empty and go ahead and adhere the heart right here. I'm going to take this out a little bit so we can see the note sent with love. And you can put a glue dot there if you don't want it to move. Just whatever your, your preference is. Preference. So put those aside and then we're going to take my little note here. And what I wanted to do here is I'm going to take a glue dot. And these are just some tweezers. Go ahead and take my glue dot out and then stick one in the center and then I'm just going to take this twine and stick it on my glue and dot. And then I want to take another glue dot just kind of add it anywhere because I'm going to then stick this here on my envelope as if it's coming out of the envelope and then take another glue dot and very carefully open your envelope just slight stick a glue dot down there and then I just take this and kind of sometimes it's easier with this oops and just kind of shove it down there with the glue dot and then hopefully get your tweezers back out <laughs> there we go that way it looks like it's coming out of the envelope here are my bag pieces, and I'm going to be using some tear and tape to assemble my bag. First, I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to go ahead and just fold, fold the score lines as best I can. It's kind of hard to see the score lines with the busy pattern and then fold the bottom here. All right, and then I take this piece and fold this at the score line as well. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take some double-sided tape or your tear and tape and then go ahead and put some on this flap. 
and then you'll remove the backing and then I like to do it like this just kind of fold out all my flaps what you want to make sure is that your flap here you don't have it folded and adhere it down because this will be on the outside as you can see here so I like to open my flap back up and then open this flap back up and then go ahead and line up line this score mark to the bottom of this and then of course line all of this against my score mark and then press down you can take your bone folder to kind of press down okay so then we have this next you want to connect these two pieces now if you notice what's cool is that your little um, I don't know what you would call this up here they uh, meet so they come together so I'm going to go ahead and take some tear and tape on this side go ahead and hear that down remove it and then make sure your flap is open go ahead and close this then next is your final step. And then remove this and then go ahead and adhere that. And there's your bag. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the glassine sheet and I will be back. Okay, here is my glassine bag. I put it together just like I put together this one. The only advice I can give you is if you do this is um, be careful through your die cut machine, obviously, because since this is slick, the die tends to shift. Also, the die sometimes doesn't cut all the way through since this is kind of waxy. So you may just have to go in with scissors and snip a few spots. Another thing, the score lines, it will mark the line, but it doesn't really score it where it helps you fold it. So it's a little bit trickier to fold. Now, this would look adorable because this does have a pattern on it. it. Would look adorable if you just threw some candy in there, tied it in a with ribbon and whatever, or fold it over and then clip it like they did in the catalog like I showed you. But that was my original plan, but then I thought, oh yeah, I need a little baggie to put the treats in, in my bag, so I'm just going to use this. So, first, I'll bring in my example here. First, I want to go ahead and adhere this piece, and I'm just going to take some glue. And just adhere that down. And then I'm going to take my sentiment piece and adhere this down. Do I say so and then a lot? I think I do. <laughs> when I watch the videos and edit them, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then and then I say about a thousand times. I'm hoping one day I'll get used to the live recording and actually like tell stories, be a little bit more lively, I guess. <laughs> So next, next, instead of then, I'll start next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my envelope, the bigger one. And Oh, you need stamp and dimensionals. I did not mention. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one up, this little envelope. Take it right there and then take this gorgeous heart. I can't get over this paper. And I love glitter paper. Go ahead and stick that there. And then for my arrow, since it's so thin, I'm going to use my multimedia mat. Now, if you don't have multimedia mat, all you have is the green glue, green cap glue, whatever you want to call it. You can take a sponge, dip it in the glue, and then sponge on here. That's one way to do it, so you don't get a lot of glue overhanging or um, seeping out. Just whatever, you know, use what you have, make it work. And then go ahead and adhere this. 
there. And that takes a second to kind of dry. And on the glimmer paper, you need to kind of choose your adhesive wisely because um, not everything wants to stick to that. So there is my bag. I'm going to go ahead and move that, move this, and I'll take my, cell my glassine bag and just take some candies, pop them in here, and then go ahead and... I will link some ribbon below. I don't have the ribbon that comes in the suite. Um, so I'm just using what I have in my stash, whoops, as I tear the bag, and tie a bow. So there's my bow. I think I'm going to keep the tails kind of long and crazy. So then I'm going to take my bag and make sure it's completely dry. Mine's not that dry. It's still a little wet, so things are kind of shifting. But uh, And then you just kind of stuff that in there. We'll have this overhang that kind of looks cute. And there you go. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. I love the die the gift tag die set and I will link this below. I think it is awesome. The things you could do if you um have kids that are in school and they have Valentine's Day parties, Christmas parties, and you have a ton of paper that you would like to kind of get rid of, this would be a great way to use that paper. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoyed this Here series. Here are some of the projects we made together. Um, if you're interested in ordering any of these products, let me know or click on the links below to go to my store. If you need help with anything, I'm here for you. If you have questions about anything, um, if you're interested in joining Stampin' Up, let me know. Today, uh, right now, it's a great time to join because of Celebration. In addition to getting $125 worth of product for $99, you get two additional free stamp sets of your choice and it can be any amount. So, if you are interested in these two catalogs, let me know. If you're interested in the annual catalog, please go to my website below and you can get a PDF version of this. Next week, I am going to start a series on Monday with the Oh So Succulent. So I'm really excited about this. This will be lovely. Um, I have, I don't have everything in this suite, but I have the dies, the stamp set, the, and the paper. So I think we can do a lot with that. Um, and we're going to create some really pretty things. So look forward to this on Monday. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time. Bye.